var kaffe stil Ja, det vi lægger om bord Kun en flyvabring I tager fint dansen Ja, det er fedt at plage how I rig the garfish rig. Here's some mullet I caught the other day with the cast net. I'll show you how I rig them. So we're gonna go through back end of the mullet, come out through the mouth. Okay, we have a steel leader. We're gonna put it on the little hook. We're gonna pull it through. Okay, we, we got a four odd treble hook. All right, to where it fits like this. Now we're just gonna tie that to the other end. I think we're gonna try with a float too. We may put one or two on the bottom and uh, maybe one with the float. Let's go ahead and put it out and see what happens. like we may have a bite. Look, the line's getting tight. We want the gorefish to swallow it, so we're going to let him run just a little bit. Make sure he has it deep in the throat, and then we'll go ahead and set the hook. I mean, we just put the line out, Jack. I think we've been here five minutes, maybe. Get it spawned out. We're going to go ahead and try it. This is not the size we after. Still, we're gonna eat this fish. We might fry this size, a good size to fry, but I wanna get one that, that we can cut steaks, put it on the pit, or do a big roast. I mean, the gar are here, we're just missing them. So, we got two in the bag, so we definitely gonna do something. Y'all stay tuned. All right, Jack. Number three, number three. We're gonna be eating some garfish soon. He's 
not a monster, but we'll take a few of these. Number five, he's still uh, not a big one, but more meat in the pot. Say that. Dude, this is the one we're looking for. Last second. He's not a seven footer, but this is the biggest one we got. Number six, Jack. Look at the size of this one. All right, we came to target garfish, alligator gore, here in the marsh in Louisiana. Uh, with Jack Orsino, he helped me catch these gores. It's our best one. What you think, Jack? That's a four and a half, probably. But look, check these other ones out. All right, guys, we had another successful trip. Thanks to Jack, my buddy. Tell him bye, Jack. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Ended up with six, with this being the biggest one. This is not a bad gore. We were trying to get some bigger, but this one will have some meat on it, so we're definitely gonna have a lot of meat. We might do a roast with this one, and we'll probably fry some. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna show you guys how I clean the gore fish. First, we're gonna cut down the back. We're gonna grab the fin right here. What you want to do is come under here.
We're just going to go ahead and fillet this meat off the back. Pretty good loin of meat right here. We're going to fry some of this up. Again, we're going to... It's kind of like a backstrap on a deer. Look at there. Come right out. Look at that pretty white meat, Timmy. All right, look at here. So there was no sense in taking the shell off the whole fish when we were just trying to get the back straps out. So we're down, that's one done. pattern it had stopped the last seven days I think we caught rain every afternoon it's a good mess of fish all right y'all stay tuned we're gonna cook this up Alright, the first dish we're going to do with this gar fish, look at this pretty meat, y'all. We're going to go ahead and do some gar patties. I mean, it's similar to the gar balls, but pretty much make a patty instead of a ball. Uh, the first step we're going to do, look, we're going to mash this up. Check this out. Get a view of this, Mike. Come in a little tighter. This is like this gar fish meat. You don't even need to put it in the grinder. We're going to mash it up. We have the garfish mashed up real good. This is like a large onion cut up. We're going to put one onion in here. This is like a pretty good sized bell pepper. All right, this is the trick here. This is some potatoes that we cut in small chunks and we balled it. Uh, so they're pretty soft. We're going to add those in here. Uh, a couple of tablespoons of garlic. All right. We're going to go ahead and put the Cape Red seasoning on here. All right. It's about what we want right there. Let's go ahead and mash it all up. a little bit more seasoning. We're going to go ahead and make the patties. I put a little flour on this board right here. We'll start off with some balls. Have them in balls. We're gonna flatten them out. So sticky. I think I add a little bit more flour. All right. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and make my own fish fry. A lot of times I'll buy, but I'll show you guys how I do mine. Cornmeal, we're gonna go, we'll put probably two cups of that. We'll put two cups of flour. Pretty much 50-50. And then we'll season it real good with K Fred. All right, there you have it. That'll be as good as anything you can buy right there. All right, let's go ahead and fry up some of these patties. I'm gonna add a little bit of flour on top of this. Come check this out, a little tight on this. All right, we got one floured up real good. some big patties You know I can't let nobody eat this till I check it, make sure it's edible first. Let's try this. It's hot, but oh my god. Dude, it tastes like a good shrimp burger. It's amazing that gorefish has no fishy taste. Get a close-up of this. It has the potatoes in there, the onions and the, uh, the bell peppers. Some good stuff. All right, these are done. Look, that first one, that first pat is just about history. Two bites left. And there's two. Yeah. Can't stop eating this stuff. How pretty that white meat is in there. I'm gonna think I'm gonna go fishing more often. That's unbelievable. Look right here. Okay, you're probably wondering why it's not adding up. I think we keep eating one or two, so I'm having a hard time catching up. <laughs> <laughs> These things are way better than I thought they were. I mean, I knew they were good, but holy moly. All right, let's hurry and get these done before it gets dark. Look at that.
You want to try it like me a little bit on that? You think so? Bless the cook. 